Welcome to the Certified Professional in Healthcare Quality Exam Prep video. In this video, we will explore maturity models and population health. Maturity models and population health. Maturity models and population health are frameworks that assess the progress and capabilities of healthcare organizations in implementing effective population health management strategies. These models provide a structured path from initial stages of awareness and fragmented efforts to advanced stages of integration, optimization, and sustainable success in managing the health of populations. Purpose and Importance of Maturity Models Purpose To help healthcare organizations assess their current capabilities in population health management, identify areas for improvement, and develop clear, strategic steps to advance their effectiveness in managing population health. Importance Maturity models serve as benchmarks for progression and are crucial for guiding long-term planning, resource allocation, and the integration of population health strategies into overall healthcare services. Key Components of a Population Health Maturity Model 1. Data Management and Analytics Initial Stage Data Collection is Sporadic and analytics capabilities are limited. Advanced stage, comprehensive data integration from multiple sources with advanced analytics capabilities to inform proactive health interventions. 2. Patient engagement. Initial stage, patient engagement is minimal or reactive, based largely on individual encounters. Advanced stage, Robust engagement strategies using personalized communication and digital tools that encourage active participation in preventive health and chronic disease management. 3. Care coordination. Initial stage, care coordination is often disjointed, with little collaboration between different providers and care settings. Advanced stage, seamless integration across all care settings with real-time communication and patient tracking ensuring that care is continuous and aligned with patient needs. 4. Community Partnerships Initial stage, few or no partnerships with community organizations that could address SDOH. Advanced stage, strong collaborations with a network of community resources to address a wide range of social determinants affecting patient health. 5. Programs and Interventions Initial stage, programs are generic with limited customization based on specific population needs. Advanced stage, targeted interventions designed based on detailed population data and evidence-based practices, with continuous monitoring and adaptation. 6. Outcome measurement and improvement. Initial stage, limited ability to measure outcomes or impact of interventions. Advanced stage, comprehensive outcome measurement, and continuous quality improvement mechanisms that are integral to health programs. Implementing Maturity Models Assessment Conduct an initial assessment using the maturity model to determine the current state of population health management. Strategic Planning Based on the assessment, develop a strategic plan that addresses identified gaps and outlines initiatives to move to higher levels of maturity. Implementation Execute the plan with clear goals, timelines, and responsibilities. Utilize technology and process improvements to support advancement. Monitoring and evaluation. Regularly monitor progress and evaluate the impact of new strategies. Use insights from these evaluations to refine approaches and further progress through the maturity model. Challenges. Resource limitations. Advancing through maturity levels often requires significant investments in technology, training, and personnel. Cultural resistance. Organizational change can be met with resistance, necessitating strong leadership and change management strategies. Data integration. Integrating data across multiple sources can be technically challenging and requires robust ID support. Conclusion. Maturity models and population health are essential tools for healthcare organizations aiming to systematically improve their population health management capabilities. By following these models, organizations can ensure that their efforts are both effective and sustainable, leading to better health outcomes for the populations they serve. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe.